back. I had some problems logging in, so I hope it... Where am I? I don't even think I'm in the right place, but... Oh, I think I did end up in Valentine last time. So, we got two missions back at camp. I really don't want to do those missions right now. I really don't. I say Sadie Adler's closest, so we'll go help her. That. I'm just going to see if I can get a ride back to Annisburg so I don't have to well, ride on myself all the way back there. Let's go. this way. Excuse me, you're in the fucking way. Yep. Please. This is the one. Kill him for what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ow. Ow. Up the hill. Pistols are never in good condition. I rarely use them, which is kind of weird.
Hello, Miss Adler. Mrs. Adler. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Of course I'll help her. I'll tell you what. I'll do it, but there's something you can help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me... We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Let's go now. Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. <clears throat> I'm mourning for killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I just need to switch my weapons out because, yeah, I don't like the weapons I got on me. <laughs> Take it from there. Okay. okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady? That's the Hellcat. Fuck home, swing. Yeah, I took care of that. You're welcome. Ramping! Good job. 
He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Let's go. That was a uh, holy shit. The place is still on fire. We'll see. Hello. Oh, what's the gun that I left behind here? Oh, it's my Litchfield. I already got a good Litchfield repeater, though, so. mission for Trelawney there. Actually, I don't think he has a mission for us, but we'll see in a moment there. Gonna redo all my cores up, see if I can fast travel. Yep. I wonder if there's an option for the camp. Ooh, the Wikipedia, that'd be helpful for if I knew that earlier. Is there a camp one? No, we'll have to go right back to Annisburg. Wait, where's Beaver Hollow? Isn't Beaver Hollow where we're at? It is. Oh. Then uh, take us to Beaver Hollow.
See if there's any other missions or whatnot. Nope. That's about it. How is everyone here? I'll see if I can. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Morning. Another day. I'll see if I can quickly shave myself. Before I get on to the next mission here. How are you feeling through all this? I'm okay. That's something at least. Hold on. What you doing, Jack? Hey, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. So who do you think the rat is? Rat? Well, someone's talking to somebody. They has to be. Uh, I reckon they just caught our scent. We can't shake him off, that's all. I think it's Marston. Nonsense. Mark my words. Uh huh. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. 
Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains for. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. 
Oh shit. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes him. <clears throat> removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Just let him go, okay? You son of a bitch. Don't be dumb. Just let him go, okay? Open fire! Follow me! Oh, oh shit. Get up! Oh, negotiations were very short. Oh, they're coming from behind us now. Perfect.
Captain Monroe, you're with me. Let's go, boy. Hold on, Captain. Be sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. just happened I've been an army man my whole life I heard them <sighs> talk they was gonna have you hang for treason you can't die for those fools and what about the chief we'll do what we can I guess I won't be submitting my report I wouldn't think so Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Hmm. Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, yeah. never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? <sighs> I'm a... Uh... Uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, mm. well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I 
guess. Uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Gonna see if I can fast travel to the reservation because that's where Charles is at last I checked. Let me check very quickly. Uh, yes, he is there. Perfect. Fast travel. Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, I can He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Okay. Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> Not doubt hmm. that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. 
I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but... ...if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> mm. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, uh -huh. Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Oof. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm hmm Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Fine. 
Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. Time for a full on stealth mission. I guess this is it. Yes. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Yeah, I'll use the call. Are you good? Let's make our way around the back. Stick to the wall. Tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Good. Just a bit further on here. This is the spot. Thank you. 
Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Search the body. Got him. Come on. Your father sent us. My father, he told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that either. Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Whoa, whoa. No. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, they know. Ow. Damn it!
Let's go. Let's get down river as quick as we can. They'll pay for this. They'll wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power to go down. Dutch is a lot of things. This is some swell. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. So much. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, buddy. Ugh. Let's see. Dutch probably has a mission for us. And it's all the way up. Yeah, back at camp. So. Ooh. Alright. I'm not going to do Dutch just yet. I am going to. Camp. Get some sleep, recover all my cores, and then fast travel to Annisburg.
Let's make our way over to Charlotte there. You bastard. Oh, fuck. Get off me. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Uh, fucking random lynx attack out of nowhere. That's great. Actually, I think that was a cougar. <sighs> Great. Well, my cores were all refilled. Um... That was a good final mission for her there. Um, yes, now we'll make our way back to Dutch there. But because I'm feeling lazy, I'll just fast travel it all. There we go.
Okay, take it easy. Ah, Pearson. Pull up a pew, Mr. Morgan. These two still here. Old pals of Mike, they're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan. After you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles? Who else will come with me? No, oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Hartley, the army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? 
Timbuktu! That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on! Need help. Quick! Somebody help no. us! No! <clears throat> no! Please hurry! I'll be. Come on! Help these men. <coughs> Anyone see Eagle Flies? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you want, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Let's Just in time. Oh, don't leave my train! Drive them back! Set up! 
cover. Shit. What the f Oh, damn it. Please start me after the train, because I don't want to have to kill that fucking guy in the rail gun again. This red? Good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region. 
against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it, and we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. I gotta be here somewhere. No. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. Much. I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. Hmm. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> Oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. That was a waste of dynamite. Fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men... We must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is, 
I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be. I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. <clears throat> Your friend here? My friend? He's a brave man. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move.
Please, drink, drink this. Rest a minute. Englisch sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... Short on time now. <laughs> Save Peta, get thirty headshots. So the camp made about 6,000 and I got nothing out of it. That's perfect. I love it when that happens. Alright, I think here will be a good point for us to stop the stream for now. But thank you for all for jumping in or watching this on YouTube. If you like what you saw, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, comment if you want to see more. There's more in the description there if you want to stay updated. Uh, and that is that. Uh, have a good day, everyone.